Good morning, guys. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so this morning I have tape. So obviously I'm looking for my tape. But yeah, I haven't ready. Um, stuff like that. What? Get lost. Hi. <laughs> Invasion of love. Anyway. <laughs> about to do my daily thing which there's another hair on you perils of having a dog um i am gonna watch some youtube and then i'm gonna clean this uh, trash of a room because it needs to be done stuff like that so yeah i'm just gonna watch some youtube and then i'm gonna get that done oh yeah i'm making myself some lunch i have Steak, and I have a sandwich, and I have sun dried tomatoes, yum yum, a piece of cheese, and tomato sauce. Wait, actually, no, I'm gonna skip out on the tomato sauce. So, we're gonna have sun dried tomatoes. But that is gonna be my lunch. I was like, hmm, I'm gonna be a bit creative today. So, I'm gonna quit. Okay, guys, so I got sucked into the wormhole that is YouTube. See, I said this before, I'm as much a YouTuber as a YouTube watcher. So I do YouTube as much as I watch YouTube. Like, I, yeah, I am the epitome of a YouTube fangirl. Like, I just, I, I watch YouTube. I think there's not a day where I don't have obviously now it's a little different but even before I daily vlogged there wasn't a day where I didn't have something to do with YouTube whether it was making a YouTube video watching a YouTube video you know it was or making an idea for a YouTube video it was kind of like my whole world is especially now because I daily vlog my whole world revolves around YouTube and picking up my camera now and all that kind of stuff um yeah it's kind of like a thing but I watch YouTube and I get stuck in YouTube video wormholes and I just watch them for hours on end like it's three three thirty and the last clip I filmed was literally probably at about one 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 thirty so for at least two hours I've been stuck in a YouTube video wormhole Okay guys, so I am starting to clean up my room and stuff like that. And look at this. This is a pile of clothes that I'm that I'm gonna donate. All of them are still in good nick and all that kind of stuff. I just never wear them and they're taking up space in my cupboard. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go through my cupboard and I'm going to get rid of anything that I don't wear and that I haven't touched in the last two or three months. And all this stuff there I haven't worn in two or three months so I was like okay it's gone and I've always kind of been you know weary of throwing out clothes I have no idea why I just have so yeah I'm biting the bullet and going through my cupboard um, I've gone through that and that all needs to be folded so that's all out of my closet and this bag uh, this basket of clean clothes so yeah I that has been sitting there for a while if you haven't noticed in the vlogs <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm starting to really clean up my room and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that's just a small pile of the clothes that I'm going getting rid of because there's still more to come. Okay guys, I've gone through my closet. I don't think it looks much different, but I got rid of a lot of clothes. See? <laughs> and as you saw on the ground, the pile, um, there's still a ton of clothes that need to go away. And I still have uh, another load full of clothes um, that are going to get hung out and dry and stuff like that. But yeah, my room is slowly getting tidy. My art desk is all nice and cleanified. So that's all nice and tidy now, which is a big relief because it, that's one of the things that is always a mess because I always art journal at the end of the night and I don't pack up before I go to bed. So um, yeah, 
it's always a mess, but I think I'm, I've got to make more of a conscious, you know, effort to make sure things are kind of, you know, are tidy in my room because as you guys probably see, my room is always a goddamn mess. <laughs> so I'm going to try to keep it nice and clean and everything like that because I'm sick of cleaning my room. I'm sick of it. It's just, it's horrible and I'm sick of stepping over stuff. So I'm really going to make a conscious effort to be tidy. And I know a lot of people wouldn't admit, I wouldn't admit that they're messy people, but I really am a messy person, especially when it comes to my bedroom. I am a messy as hell person. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. I found another thing that I wrote. Now, I was, I wrote this probably seven or eight months ago. Um, yeah, I wrote this seven or eight months ago. And it is actually a Troy and Con Troy and Tyler fan fiction that I wrote, and yeah, it's I printed it out so I can kind of go through and read it and get where I was and make like little changes like that <laughs> because yeah, I kind of and adding things like that. Because, yeah, <laughs> um, I hadn't proofread it or anything or had anyone proofread it, but I had posted it, uh, posted it on Wattpad. But yeah, I'm rewriting it and stuff like that and just gauging it. It is weird to see something I've written in like this form because I've never done that before. I was just editing the vlog and I realized that... Tomorrow, which, like, the vlog, tom today's vlog, which is going to be posted tomorrow, is going to be day 31, which means that it's one month of daily vlogging without missing one day. I'm so, like, <clears throat> I, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm so, like, I didn't realise until just then. Um, it's kind of been in my thought that this was, like, that it was approaching that. But I didn't realise, one, it had come around so quickly. And two, that I wouldn't have missed a, missed a day. I always thought that, you know, maybe one day I'll miss a day. And blah, blah, blah. But I haven't missed a day. And I'm proud of myself for that. And I'm excited. Because that's one month down. In another two weeks, okay, because they say it takes it takes four to eight weeks to fall into a habit, and I feel like I'm already in this habit with daily vlogging, and it's just part of my day now, and editing is part of my day, and all that kind of stuff, and filming stuff, and yeah, it's just become part of my day, and I have so much fun doing it, and I can't believe that I've done it for a month straight. Um, yeah, that's insane. It's really, really insane. I'm super happy about it. And I'm proud, of, like I said, I'm proud of myself. Because I never thought that I would get this far. So we're one down, 11 to go. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> to say that in 11 months, it's going to be one year. Wow. But now that I've got through one month, I feel like I can just keep going. Because... I've hit, a, I've hit one of the first big milestones, which is one month. I'm so happy. Yeah. I said it's time to get this off my chest. Are you listening? I realize it's a mess that we living in. Uh, when you get respect, just for giving it. People only out to get their checks and they dividends. But from you, I'd expect something different. You always said that the money wouldn't change you. That you'd always keep in mind what you came through, been through. Let your life story represent you. Uh. But it's never that simple A little buzz make the homie think he too fly Fly is heaven, lucky 7-11 He knows nothing to stop his roll except to die 
happy uh, But is it really worth losing life Or do we consider it living if we do it right uh, I guess there's nothing else to do tonight But pray to God that he keep me from having a this late but generally I do actually start this late but I am going to go to bed um I have a ton to do tomorrow well I'm gonna film the trailer for my um main channel and I'm gonna launch that tomorrow well technically it'll be yes today uh, today for you guys so yeah I'm launching that today I'll have a link below and I've said that but I'm literally launching it tomorrow um so yeah that's gonna be a thing and um yeah the trailer will be up then and yeah this little monkey is already all set up in bed hmm. so yeah guys I hope you had a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow